Hey guys, it is back to school time. So we are talking about a book that starts with back to school. And this is The List by Siobhan Vivian. And I loved this book. It is really, really um, true to life as to how school is sometimes. And it's really, really good for me as a teacher because you can see things really, really from a detailed student's point of view and see how so often the teachers are completely clueless about what is going on. The list, every single year in American high school, so there are four like years in an American high school, one student is named the prettiest in the year and one student is named the ugliest in the year. And this list is published anonymously, so you don't know who writes the list. And the job of writing the list is passed down over the generations through the school. So it's not the same person each year, a different person writes the list each year. Naming one student from each year, the prettiest girl and one student, the ugliest girl. And this goes through how each of the eight girls, two from each year, react to that exposure. Because when you initially think that being named the prettiest girl in the year might be a brilliant thing, it is going to completely change all of the relationships around you. It's going to completely change um, how your friends treat you, how boys treat you, how potentially even your parents and the teachers treat you. And this book goes through how the students, I'm never going to remember to remember their names, Daniel, Abby, Candy, Lauren, Sarah, Bridget, Jennifer and Margie, um, actually react to being either named the prettiest or being named the ugliest. So there are eight different students stories in this book and it flits between te talking about them from the different um, point of views from the student whose older sister was named prettiest so she was expected to be named prettiest from the student who's been named ugliest student four years in a row so the athlete who was really really body confident he was brilliant at what she did until she got named ugliest in the year and how that had a massive crushing effect on her confidence, how that affected her relationship with her boyfriend and how everything changed because of this list. It's a really, really good um, example of how letting other people's opinions of you can affect your self-confidence, can affect your self-worth and even though it hasn't fundamentally changed anything about you at all, the perception of how other people perceive you, how much you let other, the other people's opinions influence you and your self-worth is really, really important. So this is a brilliant book. It's not massive, it's not really, really heavy, but you guys know, because I've told you so many, so many times before, that reading's really good for you. And it doesn't have to be science books you're reading. It doesn't have to be heavy book to, books you're reading. It literally can just be anything you want to read. And this is definitely something that I recommend you go and read. Over on my website, I have loads of science books that you can read, loads of textbooks that I recommend, and just things that I'm reading at the moment because not everyone wants to read science books all the time. And this is an absolutely brilliant book, so I definitely recommend that you go and read this one. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.